Hi everyone and welcome to Motographer channel. I am Barry Sia, photographer, content creator. And in this video, I'm going to share why helmet cameras are so important and what camera did I use in the past and what camera I'm using now. So to find out more, keep watching. Riding in Singapore can be quite a challenge, especially when we are easily, when we are actually quite invisible on the road, especially to drivers. And helmet cameras are very important when it comes to if something happened. So as you all know, um, I, when we meet up for riding, you all know that I actually fitted DVR on both of my bikes. But despite having a DVR on my bikes, front and back, I also have a helmet camera for only one sole reason because there are some cases drivers can actually counter you by saying you did not check blind spot when you actually did and the only way to prove it is through your helmet camera so let me share with you the first accident I don't really consider that an accident but it is the very first one that I faced on my Honda Phantom I think this type of situation is quite similar to quite a few um, riders and drivers along filter lanes especially filter lanes so this is quite similar but it is not on a filter lane it is actually on an exit from i think horn road i think horn road yeah i'm not, I'm not sure whether it's horn road to lavender it's business coming out from the i think horn yeah i think it's around there so before i exit I was actually uh, uh, waiting for one car to pass but a lorry behind me thought that I have already left so I know you will find this familiar but let me share with you how important the camera is when it comes to this type of accident So as you can see, yeah, that is what actually happened. But um, I did not report him in the end. It was a very slight bump, and I my red was just down a little. So I just push it up, tighten a bit of the bolt and nut. But I'm I'm good. I'm fine. And he is also apolog uh, apologetic. You know, he is not like giving me an attitude. So all right, you know, sometimes we give and take. Okay, and I'm not injured, so I'm fine. I'm cool, but. You can see that with the helmet camera of mine, at that point of time, I was using my carbook. So I was using the SJ4000, which is this camera at the side. And I captured all this, the whole thing. I was checking blind spot and bam. So I actually did my part, but he missed out by assuming that I have left. That's how the collision happened. So all these small little things are the things that might help especially in this type of situation it is if the bump is a bit major i know i'm able to claim because i got full proof so it is good to protect yourself in that way and one thing about um, helmet cameras is that they tend to be louder than horn so when drivers see that you have a helmet camera on it they will tend to take more notice of you that's what i felt that's what i noticed that's what i have been that is what I have been observing. So when I'm riding with my helmet camera and when I'm riding without, you can see the pattern, the traffic, the way they, um, the way they drive in front of you, the way they cut your lanes. It's very different when you have a helmet camera. So let me show you another video also with my helmet camera. But um, this video is more of people using handphone. So this is another one that I actually capture the person driving recklessly and using his handphone
Okay, from this video, I don't know whether you can really see, but actually, his speed, he, when he was turning, he was slowing down a lot. But because the camera is wide angle, um, you can see the car mo moving, but you don't know the speed we are going, okay? So this is on my wife's uh, helmet cam. What actually happened was, he actually slowed down drastically. Okay, and you can see I was riding Fanta at the time. So that is me on the left. And you can see that no matter how I go, I, I actually can overtake. But the thing is that his speed was inconsistent. So some of the thing about helmet carriers is that yes, they are white. Sometimes it's a little tough to actually show uh, what is happening, especially when it's inconsistent speed, where everything seems to be slow, but then it seems like everything looks fine. But the thing is that only when something happened, then yeah the video footage will be very uh, useful especially when it's a close shave for this case this is not as bad but my wife and i feel that this driver is distracted and we won't know i mean he can be distracted all the way and then when we are driving in front i mean when we are riding he might accidentally hit another rider which there's a merging lane in front because of him being distracted so for that we report this case but of course, this, is, this footage was taken in 2015. So it's already long past already. So let's leave it as that. So no need to pull out and then, you know, make a big hoo-ha out of it, okay? So at least you know what is going on. So this is what my helmet camera capture. All right, and then here's another video of taxi experience. Okay, I know, I know out there, there's a lot of riders that you know, hates taxi drivers, okay? Yes, I know, but being a taxi driver can be real tiring. So sometimes they can be distracted, they can be real tired, and yet they are still driving. So for taxi drivers, um, uh, drivers out there, I will hope that, you know, do have sufficient rest if can, so that, you know, you will be more safe uh, on the road as well. And also, there will be more safety for other road users as well. Okay, anyway, back to the video. So this is the video I faced with a Comfort Taxi um, in 2014 when I was still riding my Honda Phantom and again it's from this old SJ4000 cam. So here we go. All right, as you can see, I was riding, uh, it was drizzling, and I'm wearing a luminous yellow uh, Revit raincoat, but he still did not see me. He's still kind to my lane, and it is actually closer than what you see in cam. It's slightly closer. If the, if the angle is a bit lower, then you will see how close, but it's slightly closer. But you can see, if he actually, if I did not horn and he actually pushed on, um, or maybe he speed up a little faster, most likely there will be a collision. Okay, but you can see over here that, you know, with a helmet camera, there's another p point of view, and it kind of like saved me from this close shave in a way. And you can see that the driver starts to panic based on his signal. So you can see after the, the taxi is moving forward, then he signal right, you know, he signal left, yes, he signal left, but he turned right. So I'm not sure what he's thinking, but usually for that type of case, from what I feel as a driver for 10 over years, that sounds like panic. So yeah, a bit panic uh, on, you know, that they know that they did something wrong. But it is good to have this type of footage to actually safeguard yourself. You won't know. I mean, someone else might report you and then it, it turn, they turn the story, you know, of any accidents. So with helmet cameras, I find that it is very important for you to have one. Okay, for the very first helmet camera I use is the SJ4000. Okay, the SJ4000 can cost up to around maybe $50 to $80. It's a very cheap 1080 
HD um, camera. The thing is that why do I go for this and not GoPro? Basically, GoPro second hand can cost up to 250 to 300 plus. So at that point of time when I was riding Phantom, I was like, I, I will spend more on my helmet than a camera, but I need a camera at least. I need a camera at least. In some way, I just feel that, you know, one day I might need a footage. Of course, I hope not, but, you know, I want to have a kind of security camera and when I ride, I will also feel more secure as well. Um, last time when I'm driving, I don't have a DVR on my car, in my car. And yes, and I got, uh, I got one accident, but that time that one was my fault. But I, I couldn't have, I could have a chance of 50%, but because I have no footage, there is none. But no, uh, a bit of slight damage there and here. So, uh, no injury, no one's hurt, no one's injured, it's just a bit of a dent. So I just got that settled. So a camera is as important. So I share with you the SJ4000, 50 to $80. And it is small, it also feels like a GoPro. And the thing is that this camera battery don't really last. That's the only downside. So every time when I actually have a stop, I would actually open up my casing and I will use a power bank to charge it. So power banks now, you know, they are slim, they are easy to carry around. And anyway, most people carry power banks nowadays because their handphone, we use it for safe entry due to the COVID. We use, um, and some of us play games. So our batteries, well, you know, tend to not last that long because of heavy usage. So we always carry a power bank. Since we are carrying power bank, I usually will put these two inside my bag or inside that time when I was riding Phantom, I put it inside my box and I leave it charged. Once it's fully charged, when I go back to my bike, the camera is fully charged, ready to go. So that's how I actually keep my uh, camera running all the time. For the SJ4000, the LED light, this is actually, a, I think it's a sport, sport version because um, uh, mine's already damaged. So when you on it, oh, it still can on. <laughs> when you on it, it will only have this small little uh, LED, okay? That's it. It will have a small LED light that actually uh, show that it's running. And the downside is that when I turn it on on my helmet, I'm unable to see whether it's on. So sometimes I might have I might miss it, I might forget to turn it on. So this is only the downside I don't like about the SJ4000. But I make it a point that I on it before I wear my helmet. So I can see that it's on. So other, after my SJ4000 failed and it is actually quite poorly built. Uh, but it's waterproof and it's cheap. So that time I go for it. I went for the SJ5000. Okay, I do not have the SJ5000 in sample. I'm unable to actually share with you how it really looks like, but I can show you the image of it. What it does, it has a front LED uh, that is a blinking blue light that is much more obvious. So when I'm riding, uh, other road users will be able to see the light as well. So sometimes I will look into my mirror to see that the light is blinking. But the downside about that is also the same thing, batteries. So the battery is only this small. It lasts only around continuous recording, maybe around 20, 30 minutes. So if a lot of my friends who do grab delivery, they ask me whether can this last, I say no, you have to have the power bank or a few batteries. So the batteries are cheap, it's just like $5 each. And I bought six of them. And every day, if I were to write out, I will use three. Then after I charge, then another three. So that, that's the hassle part. And the hassle worst part is that when you change the batteries too slow, it means when you swap them too slow, the date will reset. So when the date reset, again, the camera, you have to you know, set the proper date and time in order for it to work. You cannot be like, if anything happened and then your footage is like 1970. I mean, it's obvious it's actually in this era, but it is best. It's also better for the insurance. It's also better for the police, for the traffic police. You know, we have a, a proper date stamp on it. So, yeah. So for the SJ5000, same thing. I also use the power bank to charge it.
Okay, so now let me share with you my current camera that I'm using. Uh, some of the riders out there, we meet up, you saw me riding with it. Yes, it is quite Teletubbish. Okay, I like to have my helmet camera actually at the side or at the front, but not like this. But the thing is that this camera is slightly different. This is the Looking brand. Is it, the brand is really L O O K I N G. Yeah, it is a uh, Looking, in a way. Okay, Looking uh, brand. And the good thing about this uh, camera is that it records front and back at the same time. Okay, because um, sometimes when you ride, especially when I review bikes, I will ride with this so that I'm able to also safeguard myself and at the same time also I can take some footage on, um, on me riding the bike, you know, and the traffic front and back, this type of thing. But the thing is that you might be wondering why am I putting it so high up? Okay, very simple because for one reason is that there is um, there is actually a ventilation switch on top of my uh, Spartan carbon, and it is blocking the way where I can put my mount. So I have no choice. I have to actually push it back. But when I shift it back, and if the camera is not high enough, I'm only seeing um, my helmet when because when we are riding, right? Helmets are not like this. It's like this. So you can see that if it's lower, I will be only seeing the back of my helmet. I won't be able to see the traffic behind. That's why I have to extend it high. Why I like this camera? This camera costs around 249 uh, in Pisido. So you can, I will give the link below in my description. Then it is not cheap, as cheap as the SJ. But one thing is that it, it records two. The battery lasts way longer for my experience. It lasts me for a day without charging at all. And in between, I have rides up to 20 to 30 minutes, okay, and stop. So until the end of the day, then I charge. So I find that the battery is much more long lasting compared to those. It is decent in a way of aerodynamic. Okay, for this squarish SJ4000, that's like GoPro type uh, look as well, is that when I actually checking my blind spot, when I turn my head, there is a very strong wind resistance. So when you actually look right, okay, it will push more to the right. But when you look left, it will, it will kind of like shake. It will shake a lot. So it really depends. And when you are riding straight, even though at our uh, speed of 70 to 80 in the expressway, sometimes my helmet will feel there's a drag. It feels that my helmet is wanting to shift to the right when my camera is here more than the left. So for this case, it's actually very smooth. So when, uh, when people ask about the aerodynamic of it, I find that it's decently uh, comfortable. I don't feel the drag, I don't feel the pull, pull back. I don't feel the, um, the side drag. So yeah, I'm happy with this camera. When you record all the footage and upon impact, it will lock the latest footage. So this is what, it will auto-lock the latest footage. This is to prevent deletion of the footage or corruption kind of thing. Uh. So this, this um, camera has this feature and it, you can connect through Wi-Fi uh, through your phone to be able to see, okay, when you set, you know, how is the, on the angle when you set on your helmet. So for this looking camera, okay, this looking camera is DB01. I forgot to say about the, camera model name just now. So for DB01, there are also parts uh, that is available for you to purchase in case you damage them. So my wife, uh, I got my wife uh, one camera as well and she accidentally broke the front lens cover. So I just get it replaced. So you don't need to worry about hey, uh, when damage, where am I going to get the parts. You can get it from Pisido very easily. It's just off the shelf, then you can just get it replaced straight away instead of like, oh, I need to wait for parts to come in. And um, because every time when there's a delay, when your camera is down, there's a risk. There's one day risk. Okay, so I don't think you all want to have that one day risk, especially when you write frequently and you write daily for your work. So I won't suggest that. 
So I just share with you a little on the footage of the DB01, how it uh, works at night and in the day. So here it is. And there you have it. This is why it is important and I really hope that for you riders out there, especially if you're using the road frequently, go and get one. Okay, I put the link in the description below and you can actually still choose the SJ Cam. SJ Cams you can find in um, Gadget Mix or some budget store, electronic store, you will see something similar. I'll try to find some um, links, you know, to, for you to see and check it out or you can get the DB01. So the most important, protect yourself, ride safe, and I see you in my next video.